This video will cover beginner questions part 3 regarding the topic of trigonometric substitution. We run the trigonometric substitution using x equals a sin theta and x equals a tangent theta in part 1 and 2. Now, let's learn how to find the integrals where the expression x equals a secant theta is involved. Question 1. x equals 3 secant theta, then derive on each side dx equals 3 secant theta tangent theta d theta equals integral of square root of x squared is 3 secant theta squared minus 9 over x is 3 secant theta times dx equals 3 secant theta tangent theta d theta equals integral of 3 is cancelled secant theta is cancelled square root of this part is 9 secant square root theta minus 9 times tangent theta d theta equals integral of square root 2, take out 9, secant square root theta minus 1, tangent theta d theta. Using Pythagorean identity, sine square root theta plus cosine square root theta equals 1, then divide by cosine square root theta on each side, First one is tangent square root theta plus 1 equals secant square root theta. Then move 1 to the right. Then tangent square root theta equals secant square root theta minus 1. So this part is tangent square root theta. So we can rewrite as integral of Square root of 9 tangent square root theta means 3 tangent theta, then tangent theta d theta equals 3 moves here, the integral of tangent square root theta d theta. Then use this formula again, equals 3 times the integral of secant square root theta minus 1 d theta equals 3 times tangent theta minus theta plus c. From here, divide by 3 on each side. x over 3 equals secant theta. That means cosine theta equals 3 over x. Where theta is interpreted as an angle of a right triangle, then respect angle is theta. The cosine ratio is adjacent side over the hypotenuse. We label 3 and x here. Then use the Pythagorean theorem. x squared equals 3 squared plus b squared. Then b squared equals x squared minus 9. Then b equals square root of x squared minus 9. So opposite side is square root of x squared minus 9. Then from here, take arc secant at both sides. Then we will see theta equals arc secant of x over 3. Then back to the original. 3 times tangent theta means square root of x squared minus 9 over 3 minus theta, which is arc secant of x over 3 plus c. The final answer is expand square root of x squared minus 9 minus 3 arc secant of x over 3 plus c. Question 2. x equals 3 secant theta. 
then square root of x squared minus 9 equals square root of x squared, which is 9 second squared theta minus 9 equals square root of, take out 9, then second squared theta minus 1, then square root of 9. This part is tangent squared theta. The final answer is 3 tangent theta. And from here, derive on each side, dx equals 3 secant theta, tangent theta, d theta. Then back to the original, integral of the numerator is 3 tangent theta over x squared is 9 secant squared theta, then dx equals 3 secant theta tangent theta d theta equals 3 times 3 is 9, then 9 is cancelled, then secant theta and 1 secant theta is cancelled. The integral of the numerator is tangent squared theta over secant theta d theta. Then use Pythagorean identity, the integral of Tangent squared theta means secant squared theta minus 1 over secant theta d theta equals the integral of divide and write in two terms. The first one is secant theta minus the second term is 1 over secant theta, which is cosine theta, then d theta. Then let's integrate ln absolute value of secant theta plus tangent theta minus sine theta plus c1. From here, divide by 3 on each side. x over 3 equals secant theta. That means cosine theta equals 3 over x. Then draw the right triangle where the respective angle is theta. We label 3 and x here. We already found the opposite side is square root of x squared minus 9. Then use this triangle. And then absolute value of secant theta means x over 3 plus tangent theta means square root of x squared minus 9 over 3 minus sine theta means square root of x squared minus 9 over x plus c1 equals ln we can read it as x plus square root of x squared minus 9 over 3 minus square root of x squared minus 9 over x plus c1. Then use the logarithmic identity. We can read it as ln absolute value of x plus square root of x squared minus 9 minus ln absolute value of 3, which is 3, minus square root of x squared minus 9 over x plus c1. And where minus ln3 plus c1 be the constant c because we don't know what the constant c1 here is anyway. So let's say c is a sum of minus ln3 and the constant c1. The final answer is ln absolute value of x plus square root of x squared minus 9 minus square root of x squared minus 9 over x plus c. This is the last one. Square root of x squared minus 9 equals 3 tangent theta. And derive on each side. dx equals 3 secant theta tangent theta d theta.
We already know everything here. Now let's put them all together. Integral of the numerator is 3 tangent theta over x cubed equals 27 secant cubed theta and dx equals 3 secant theta tangent theta d theta. Then 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, and secant is cancelled, then secant squared is left over. The integral of tangent squared over secant squared, and 1 over 3 is here, then d theta. Then tangent squared theta over secant squared theta equals the numerator is sine squared theta over cosine squared theta times 1 over secant squared theta means cosine squared theta then make 1 then cancel then sine squared theta the power of sine is even. Use the half angle identity for sine. 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2. Then back to the original. 1 over 3 times 1 over 2. The integral of 1 minus cosine 2 theta d theta equals 1 over 6. Integrate theta minus. Do you remember the formula? Integral of cosine kx dx equals sine kx over k plus c. In here, k equals 2, then sine 2 theta over 2 plus c. Then this part, sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta over 2, then 2 is cancelled. We can rewrite as sine theta cosine theta. Then back to the original, 1 over 6, theta minus sine theta cosine theta plus c. From here, divided by 3 on each side, x over 3 equals secant theta. That means theta equals arc secant x over 3. Then do you remember the triangle we used in question 1 and 2? And x, 3, and square root of x squared minus 9. Then use this triangle 1 over 6 times the theta means arc secant x over 3 minus sine theta is square root of x squared minus 9 over x times cosine theta means 3 over x plus c. Then final answer is 1 over 6 arc secant of x over 3 minus 3 square root of x squared minus 9 over x squared plus c. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.